welcome to my channel this is salma sultana and today we'll talk about electrocardiogram or ecg actually i have been posting lots of vlogs uh, what i do in a day what i eat in a day in ramzan month i have done a lots and lots of vlogs so i thought that i have not been giving you an educational uh, video so you guys are asking for it uh, many of the times that post something anatomy of anatomy or physiology of biochemistry so today i am here with a very interesting and very important topic and it will uh, be needed in your whole medical life so let's talk about the ecg or electrocardiogram uh, we have already seen that uh, many of the doctors uh, prescribe ecg we have seen an ecg paper right so let's start with it because it's a very important topic so first definition what is electrocardiogram electrocardiogram is a record or a graphical registration or representation of an electrical activities of the heart which occur prior to the onset of the mechanical activities so electrocardiogram means it's the record or the graphical registration so we have seen the uh, ecg paper right we uh, all of us all of us have seen that that uh, paper is a very lengthy paper and there's something the graph is there so uh, so this is the uh, electrocardiogram where uh, electrocardiogram definition is it's a record or the graphical representation of the electrical activities of your heart okay so Uh, we often get confused with these three terms what is electrocardiogram what is electrocardiograph and what is electrocardiography so uh, to begin with you know that what is electrocardiogram right now what is electrocardiograph as the prefix has the graph it doesn't mean that uh, it is the graphical representation right it's very tricky electrocardiograph means the instrument by which the electrical activities are recorded okay now next point what is electrocardiography graphy means the technique by which we measure or we study the electrical activities of the heart okay so these three terms are very important and please don't get confused with it let us get clear with these terms so electrocardiogram is the record or graphical registration or representation electrocardiograph is the instrument and electrocardiography is the technique so we call einthoven william to be the father of ecg and he is an dutch he was a dutch physiologist okay now moving into the uses of ecg so we often see the doctor prescribing an ecg so why ecg because we can uh, see we can check the heart rate uh, so uh, how many times the heart beats per minute a uh, heart rhythm the way it beats it can be fast it can be very slow it can be unusual so this is the irreg irregular so this is heart rhythm well, abnormal electrical conduction any kind of electrical conduction if there is any kind of abnormality we can detect it by doing ecg now next is the poor blood flow to the heart muscle or ischemia we know that ischemia means if there is an uh, stoppage of blood flow or if there is pl poor blood sub uh, flow sub blood supply then it's an ischemia so if that if that happens then we can detect it by ecg next heart attack coronary artery diseases and hypertrophy of the heart chamber hypertrophy means if there is an elongation or loss of elasticity in the ventricle or the arterial walls and that is called as a hypertrophy of the heart chambers so all because of all this to check all these points all these seven points we use ecg okay now next very important thing what is electrocardiographic grid so uh, it electrocardiographic grid means it is the marking on the ecg paper so we have seen an ecg paper where we have seen like a it, it's like a graph paper means uh, when we were small we used to uh, um, in class 10 in class 9 we used to plot the graph right so it is same like a graph paper which has an x axis and an y axis a vertical line and a an horizontal line okay and each line is measured 1 mm each okay and the last one that is the fifth line is 5 mm and which is very thick so i will show you so have you can, can you see here that this is 
like a craft paper so this is an ecg paper so uh, you can see that it's like a craft paper which has an x axis which is having an y axis and this small small it's not clear but i know uh, i know that it's not clear so it's very small small this square is measured 1 mm and the last one is the thicker line you can see this is the thicker line so this is what it said now next uh, what uh, duration and amplitude so in x axis we plot the duration or the time duration of the ecg wave and uh, amplitude is measured or is plotted in the y axis so duration uh, 1 mm i have shown you that small small 1 mm square that means in x axis that represents 0.04 second and 5 mm that is a thicker line it represents that 0.20 second and same as that y axis amplitude uh is plotted in the y axis and 1 mm means 0.1 mv and 5 mm means 0.5 mv so again i am showing you the paper so this is the paper where in the x axis we uh, measure if we give the time duration and in the y axis it is represent it represents the amplitude okay now next let's move uh, speed of the paper so speed of the paper we uh, just for uh, your knowledge speed of the paper is we we have two speeds okay that is 25 mm per second and 50 mm per second uh 25 mm per second is mostly used but if the heart rate is very fast heart rhythm is very fast then um uh, we have to give 5 mm per second we have to use the speed of the paper okay now moving into the lid this is the very important concept you have to know before knowing other thing uh, so let's first start with the leads so ecg leads uh, so uh, i have said you ecg means that it measures the elect or e e it can detect the electrical activities of the heart for for uh, knowing the electrical activities you have to place some electrodes okay now where you will place the electrodes so electrodes are mostly placed in the three places where are they in the right arm in the left arm and in the left leg don't forget it both of your arms that is right and the left arm and in one leg that is the left leg okay now this einthoven's triangle or einthoven's law this you will get in your theory paper or in the viva table that uh, and in the theory paper 2 to 3 marks question this will be there and in the viva table obviously your teacher will ask that what is einthoven's triangle or einthoven's law and you have to know this Einthoven's triangle or Einthoven's law is it is an equilateral triangle that is used as a model of a standard limb leads used to record ECG and heart is presumed to lie in the center of this triangle okay now this is a very tough thing you will not understand but i will make you understand so this is the einthoven triangle and this is the equilateral triangle so i have said you know that there will be three electrode in the three places so this is the right hand right in the right arm this is the left arm and this electrode is placed in the left leg it will be placed in the left leg here don't worry so it's uh, just for the uh, picture uh, it it is kept here so uh, this is an equilateral triangle all the sides are equal now what is einthoven triangle if you connect the all the roots of the three this three electrodes then and heart is presumed to be in the center of it so this is the einthoven's law now mm, uh, ecg is recorded in 12 leads okay uh, classification uh, it is classified into unipolar and bipolar leads so ecg will be recorded in 12 leads i will show you so see count 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight nine and ten eleven and twelve so this twelve leads are uh, are recorded okay in this twelve leads i will show you i will say you what is one what is this roman two what is this roman number three avr avl everything you will get it clear now and now only just wait for five minutes so uh, ecg is recorded in twelve leads and is classified into two categories unipolar you know unipolar means one and bipolar means two so let's start with a bipolar bipolar is also said to be the standard limb leads okay so 
uh, it is again classified into lead 1 lead 2 and lead 3 actually in bipolar means 2 you know and uh, what happens here any of the two leads means i said you know there will, there will be three electrodes placed so any of the two electrodes will be an active electrode and other one will be an inactive one so let's start with the lead 1 so in lead 1 you can see that uh, lead in lead 1 the left arm will be positive the right arm will be negative and what is left that is your left leg and that will be inactive electrode okay in lead 2 left leg will be positive right arm will be negative and lead 3 left leg will be positive and left arm will be negative so i will show you by the diagram don't get confused so i have uh, explain this diagram as the Einthoven's triangle, right? So you you have to refer this diagram only. So you can see here one, two, and three is left uh, is there. So in one, that means it is the lead one. So lead one connects the right arm and the left arm. So uh, in the active electrode, there will be a positive terminal and there will be a negative terminal. So uh, as I said, you the both the arms will be connected in lead one. So right arm will be negative, left arm will be positive. Okay, now comes let us go to lead 2. In lead 2, what happens? Right arm is negative, left leg is positive. Now moving into the lead 3. Lead 3, what happens? Left leg is positive, left arm is negative. So there is a trick to remember that right arm is always negative in lead 1 and even in lead 2. And left leg is always positive for left uh, for, for lead 2 and lead 3 so this is the easy thing you have to remember and you have to know what is lead 1 what is lead 2 and what is lead 3 now i hope it's clear right so let's move into the unipolar leads so unipolar leads again is divided into unipolar or augmented limb leads and unipolar or the precardial chest leads so we'll talk about the unipolar or the augmented limblets so it is again divided into avr avl avf so i said you i will make you understand what is avr what is avl and what is avr so we know that unipolar means one so here only one electrode will be uh, active one and other will be indifferent or the inactive one so uh, i will show you a chart so this is the unipolar limblets in the unipolar limblets what happens avr a v r means here the active electrode is the r means right uh, arm and here l means left arm when f means this is the foot or the leg okay so here the active so you ca you know now what is it so here the active electrode will be your right arm here your active electrode will be left arm your active electrode here will be your left foot or the leg an indifferent electrode will be other two for avr it's left arm and left leg for avl it's right arm and uh, left leg is indifferent electrode or inactive electrode and av for the avf here the active will be your left leg and your inactive electrode will be your right arm and the left arm so uh, this is your, uh, this is the thing you have to remember okay now moving into the unipolar chest leads unipolar chest leads now here what happens all the three electrodes i said you it will be placed in the right arm in the left arm in the left leg all these three electrode will be uh, it will be inactive electrode or the indifferent electrode the active electrode we will place the active electrode in the six different places in the chest now what are the three six different places and this is the very important thing you have to remember it uh, it, your teacher may ask any time in your in the viva table so the six places are we name it v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 so v1 will place in the fourth intercostal space near the right sternal margin in v2 will place in the fourth intercostal space near the left sternal margin v3 between v2 v4 v4 bit is in the left fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line and here v5 will be in the fifth intercostal space in the anterior axillary line and v6 will be in the left fifth intercostal space on the mid axillary line i know it's very boring let's see through a diagram so this is the diagram will make you understand 
that what are the six places so can you see that this is the clavicle and let us count the ribs this is one first rib second rib third rib and fourth rib what are the intercostal space the between the ribs uh, we call the it to be the intercostal space uh, so this is the first intercostal space this is the second and this is the third and this one is the fourth intercostal space okay now v1 will be placed in the right uh, right intercostal space into uh, into the right inter in sorry into the fourth intercostal space into the right sternal margin so you can see that this is the fourth intercostal space and this is the right side so right sternal margin v2 will be placed in the fourth intercostal space in the left sternal margin so you can see v2 is placed in the left sternal margin now let's see where will be v3 v3 will be between v2 and v4 now where v4 will be kept v4 will be there into the fifth intercostal space left fifth intercostal space bit in the mid clavicular line so this is the clavicle and this is the mid clavicular line imaginary line will draw draw so v4 will be placed in the left fifth intercostal space into the mid clavicular line v5 will be placed into the left fifth intercostal space into the anterior axillary line and v6 will be there into the again into the left fifth intercostal space uh, in the uh, axillary mid axillary line okay so this is the axilla and mid axillary line so this six places you have to remember we again i will repeat v1 will be there in the uh, fourth intercostal space into the right sternal margin and each and every word is important here you have to mention right left intercostal space everything you have to mention so v1 will be there into the fourth intercostal space into the right sternal margin v2 will be placed into the fourth intercostal space into the left sternal margin v3 will be there between v2 and v4 v4 will be placed into the fifth left fifth intercostal space into the mid uh, clavicular line v5 will be there into the fifth intercostal space left side into the anterior axillary line and v6 will be there into the left fifth intercostal space between the mid axillary line so this is uh, all about the um, uh, basic of the ecg actually all this thing you have to know so i have taught you today about the leads about the paper uh, why we use ecg so this is the uses of ecg the definition this three term don't forget it so i have completed the basics but in the next part i will say you about the waves of the ecg p q r s t uh, so stay tuned and if if you have not checked the vlogs uh, then do check it out subscribe to my channel